What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in my lab in Denver, Colorado, and it's a very exciting day. Um, I've got my front runners that I've been breeding um, since February 17th. So that's 53 days from spore until inoculating bulk substrate, which is um, very fast, pretty, pretty much uh, on par or better with uh, my king oysters. So um, I've got about nine different phenotypes that I'm gonna be inoculating. And I just sterilized these bags yesterday and let them cool overnight. So it was two weeks ago that I inoculated the grain with auger, and now I'm going to be taking that grain and inoculating on it onto a bulk substrate, which um, if you've seen my other video on how I make my bulk substrate, I just use locally sourced our hardwood sawdust and either wheat bran or soy um, as a supplement. So you can go check my video. Um, on how I, how I do that. And I also do a dry bag mix that I sell at the Lion's Mane in Denver. Um, shout out to Lion's Mane. So I sell a mix of my local sourced um, substrates over at Lion's Mane and then you just have to add water and sterilize it for 90 minutes. So these bags have all been sterilized and we'll be inoculating with my grain spawn that I inoculated two weeks ago. So um, I've got some really nice looking healthy mycelium. It's fully colonized. And you can see some nice looking jars here. So I'm pretty happy and hopefully these will um, fully colonize these bags in about 10 to 15 days and then I'll put them in fruiting and do um, yield analysis and flavor testing. Uh, I'm really excited for these pink oysters. Traditionally pink oysters have a shorter shelf life and a more pungent flavor which a lot of uh, you know mushroom connoisseurs prefer that really almost umami and bitterness. Um, I really like pink oysters, but I'm hoping to get uh, a bigger yielding variety and a firmer mushroom that might um, hold up better in, in cold storage. So um, one important thing before you inoculate your bags is you wanna make sure that they're all cooled down. So these ones are at 84 um, which is a little bit on the warmer side still ideally you want to be about 79 78 that's what I prefer um, but 84 is fine so I'll get started on that all right guys so I've got my workstation set up here um, I've got my marker to label and then all my cooled bags right here and then my heat sealer, and these are all my crosses. So this one is PDJ, so Pink Oyster BB2C8 um, from two weeks ago. You can see how strong, strong that mycelium is. Um, I've also got the Black Pearl King from a Spore Solution Liquid Culture. So that one, two weeks liquid culture versus um, auger. And then I've got my pink oyster C6B4 from two weeks ago. This one looks really nice. And you can see the difference between the lids. So we've got the 0.2 micron filter lid and the quarter inch lid with a filter um, underneath it and you know they seem to be fairly similar and then we've got PDJ BB4B4 um, this one looks really healthy too and this is the hybrid um, 
Black Pearl King and PDJ. So Black Pearl King and a pink oyster. And you can see how nice and healthy that mycelium's looking. And then we've got the pink oyster BB2, BB4 um, with the filter lid with the hole again. So some healthy looking mycelium. All right, so now that this is all um, cleaned down, I'm gonna go ahead and start So it's really easy um, to open these up. You just want to grab the gussets and pull it apart. And in the meantime, I'm making sure that I'm not touching the inside of the bag. And you can see that the HEPA filter is right above the bag, so I'm gathering in some clean air. So I'll go ahead and um, shake this jar up to break apart the mycelium. And one thing that I'm observing while I'm doing this is I'm paying attention to the inside um, to see if there's any, you know, milkiness or really dark looking grains, which could be signs of contamination, but it's breaking up really e easy and um, it looks healthy to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and inoculate this so basically you just want to bring it above the bag and carefully pour into these. And then I'll go ahead and get this sealed up. So once again, you're making sure that you're not touching the inside of the bag. And I like to pull it pretty tight so it makes a flat, even seal. So that looks like a really nice seal right here. Um, it's always always nice to double check, so I'll just take this and press it down and I don't hear don't hear any air. So then I'll just go ahead and label this up. So pink oyster C6B4 and today is the 9th. And then the last step of doing these is shaking them up. So I like to just tip it on its side and kind of gather all the spawn here. And if you kind of work it from the bottom towards the top, um, it seems to be a little bit easier to distribute evenly. Alright, so that was shaken up pretty well, and I'm just going to kind of squeeze that substrate real tight. And there you have it. Pink Oyster C6B4. So then I'll go ahead and finish these off.
So I've got these all inoculated. Um, the chestnut and foliota, or the chestnut and piapino, these are about a week behind. So I'll inoculate those when um, they fully colonize. And I'm gonna incubate these at about 74 to 75 degrees for hopefully 10 up to 15 days before they fully colonize and then I'll be transferring them into the fruiting tent. So um, I'll give you guys an update as, as these develop. I'm really excited. Um, they had a, a nice fragrance to the mycelium, which is always a good sign. Um, so I'll go ahead and finish my inoculations, but give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Um, subscribe if you don't want to miss any more videos about mycology and uh, share our videos if you think anything, if anyone else would find them useful. Make sure you check out our Etsy page, uh, Fresh Fungi. We've got a bunch of liquid cultures and plates and we just loaded up slant cultures. So um, we're gonna be selling our, our slants that we use in production as well as any other liquid cultures that, um, especially from these breeded strains that are doing well uh, everything's QC'd, so um, all of our cultures are clean. So check out our Etsy, it's Fresh Fungi. And um, I'll keep you updated on how these go. I'm really excited to get them into fruiting just in time for spring. All right, much love, guys.